Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the baseball hitting in three different parts. The first part is actually the biomechanics of baseball swing. Okay, and then when we talk about the biomechanics, I'm looking at this specifically for the segment of the body. So you start out from the pelvis position, and then you have a trunk, and then you have an arm, and then you have baseball bat. Okay, so when we're looking at this, this is the actual graph of angular velocity. Okay? Angular velocity means how fast your segment moves. Okay? So when you're looking at this, this graph is actually a really great representation of what's called a kinetic chain sequence. Okay? We look at from the pelvis first movement. So your pelvis moves first. Okay? And then, as soon as your pelvis moves to peak angular velocity, so you move, the next one comes in is the trunk. So after you twist your pelvis, here comes the trunk, okay? And then the trunk comes here. And then after the trunk, then your hand comes, okay? And then after your hand, it gets to the baseball bat. Okay, so when you're actually looking at this, you have the sequence of pelvis, trunk, arm, and then the baseball bat. And then the angular velocity of the baseball bat reduced significantly because that's on a ball contact. Okay, some people don't have this sequence. A lot of time I see some baseball players when, with the swing analysis, they move the pelvis with the trunk. So they don't have a really good kinetic chain to transfer the energy. They ended up just using the hands to swing. In result, their bat swing speed is much lower than somebody who can use that chain of the sequence from pelvis trunk um, to hand. Okay. So this has to happen really fast okay? because you only have a time window of 0.1 second to close to about 0.18 second, okay? Because if you see 150 kilo fastball, you only have a time of 0.4 seconds, okay? So first half of it, 0.2 seconds, you recognize whether it's a strike that you wanna hit or not, okay? And then you have that much time window to rotate your body. So it has to happen really quickly, okay? So when you do this, okay, that lower body movement has to be really sequential and then consistent. Okay? And then when you have different pitch, where, for example, curveball, slider, changeup, or high fastball or low fastball, depending on the pitch location, your lower body has to be really consistent. The only difference is your upper body position, specifically for your arm, whether you hit high pitch or low pitch. You cannot adjust from lower body because if you do, you break that sequence, you have no power, okay?